Oh man, cleanup time again. Today I'm going to show you how to connect one of these awesome 16x2 character LCDs to the Snack Tech Director Plus. What? The Director Plus just doesn't have a sticker. Fine, I'll get one with a sticker. So, there we go. Uh, this is useful for showing all kinds of numbers, like your mom's weight. I mean, just kidding. Like any sort of numbers or characters or messages or probably the cheapest way, cheapest and fastest way to get the most information out right in front of you where you can see it. So, it's quite difficult to connect this thing. It's, it's quite, you know, you're going to spend hours wiring this ground, 5 volt, and SDA, and SCL connected here to the 5 volt, back to the ground, the SCL, the SDA. I, I don't expect any of you guys to be able to do this. Even if you do manage to get it wired up right, the chance of it actually working is just zero. Just give up right now. This is not a project for you. So we could display, for example, some color information from a color observer, or or we could display, you know, the rotary encoder value, let's say maybe a temperature or setting. You can either buy them on AliExpress for a few bucks and wait five years to, for it to show up, or if you're in a hurry, just pick it up from our store at the same time when you're buying the, uh, the Director Plus and... Now, I gotta warn you, if you don't have a PhD in science, you better, like, you better quit this video. And we should get a bar across the LCD like this. No code driving it right now. Computer, we get a Director Plus drive. Now you're gonna wanna go over to the shop and uh, there's a link to the GitHub page for the driver. Now the driver is originally by um, Dave Highlands, so full credit to him. I've modified it for, for this purpose and you can just um, download the zip like so. Just double click on that zip and you know this part's difficult. So you're gonna wanna really pay attention. Copy all these files right onto that Director Plus. Oh, and it's going to ask you if you want to replace script.py. And you're going to say, yes, I do. Did I lose anyone yet? If you're lost, you can always go back. This video is not going anywhere. Once it's done, all we got to do is head over to Director Plus. I'm going to push the reset button. Oh, and it works. Now, if you want to see how that worked, you just got to go into the director and open the Director Plus I2C LCD test. Uh, file. It's very similar to Arduino where you just tell it what to write. You can use uh, new lines clear, you can move the cursor, you can turn the backlight on and off. It's really all very, very easy. You can look at this file and copy and paste the parts you need to run this LCD. As an example, to show you how hard this really is, I've got the uh, Snacktech Air Color Observer and I'm printing out the color information on the LCD here. And you can see the code is really difficult. Um, first, we're just importing the stuff we need. And then we've got the I2C setup. And then we're just creating the color observer. We're creating the color observer object. And then we just get the color from the color observer and just print out the st uh, string on the screen there. And just a small delay. And then we clear the screen. So, you know, it's. This code is not for beginners. Like, this, this is a difficult project. I would not recommend this to anyone unless you have extensive experience in uh, machine learning and Python. Uh, blockchain, you're going to need blockchain. You're going to need to be a machine that can learn to be able to do machine learning. Like red, I've got this uh, this red this red plastic here. I'm going to put that on, what is this called, a scissors? Hopefully, yeah, like, look, red is like 5,000 on blue plastic here. Put blue on there. You see the blue is much higher. You can also connect any other I2C sensors or Nectech Air observers and uh, use this as a cute little display readout. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. And you can check out all these products on our shop at snacktech.com. And uh, we'll see you next time.